Hello. I recently did a video on the method that my neighbor showed me on how to tram the head of my mill uh, using a coaxial center indicator and a 1-2-3 block. Um, I've been working with the mill a little bit more than I normally do, and so I decided to splurge and get a pro tram from Edge Technologies. Uh, there's a couple videos on, out there on how to use this, and not a lot though, so I figured I'd show this particular model that I just bought. This is the uh, one that does it in uh, half thousandths increments. I ordered this. It's on sale right now. I think it's twenty to five dollars off. That's part of the things that helped me decide to pull the trigger on that. I uh, ordered it on Sunday, and it was at my door on Wednesday. Uh, Two-day mail from Arizona to New Jersey, which is uh, pretty fast, I think. Um, thing appears to be extremely well made. I was going to set this up and show you uh, me tramming my mill head uh, with this device. Uh, this is a Rockwell mill. Uh, it only has tilt. It does not have nod. Okay, this uses a half inch collet. Let me get that in my mill. And tighten it up. What I was going to do to calibrate this is take this magnet right here. It comes with the device and put it on the mill table and put it right underneath one of the legs or one of the indicators. Then I'm going to bring the table up until I go 50 thousandths in. Okay, that's zero. You might have a parallax, but that is zero. Then what I was going to do is rotate this 180 degrees, lift up this indicator, and put it right on that magnet. And I set this earlier today, but what you want to do is set this indicator to zero. So now this is set. When these both read zero, this table, this head is level with this table. So now what I was going to do is set this just like this, lock everything, and then bring the table up and see if these both zero. Actually, I'll go. 50 thousandths in. And right now this head is about one half of a thousandths off over five inches. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, just loosen that up a little bit. Okay, let's just adjust these so these numbers are the same. I got one thousandths and two thousandths. One and a half and one and three quarter. And I think that might be about it. So what it's going to do is take them and take them both to zero again. I find that works best instead of trying to eyeball it up. And actually, why I have it that close, let me snug this head up a little bit. What I found is you, whenever you adjust anything, it seems like you do a little bit and snug and do it a little bit in snug because the snugging seems to adjust things as you can see so let's take that back to zero we're about a quarter thousandths off let me snug it up a little bit more oh man we're so close The other thing I was wondering if I just take it so it splits the difference around zero and let it come in. There you go. I got one on each one needle on each side of that zero. Let me snug that up. 
And getting that last little bit's always a pain in the butt. That should be fully tight. And there you go. Zero, zero over five inches. So I'm very happy with that. And compared to going back and forth and back and forth, uh, this was a lot faster. And I know I don't have to get zero, zero, but that's just me. If I have something to shoot for, I keep going until I get it. And all I found was adjust snug adjust snug adjust snug and that's what that's what i found works for me because if you get it lined up perfect and just tighten it down all at once those needles will go all over the place on any type of adjustment i think it's a great tool uh i'm gonna keep using it and now i got it in a box for the rest of my life okay well thank you for watching